Hello Sagittarius and welcome. We're going to be doing your um well, okay. We're going to be doing your weekly reading. This is for the next seven days, okay? Um so when it resonates, it resonates, and that's just how things work in the universe. Okay, timing is fluid. I don't give timings in my readings. If you prefer something like that, there are plenty of other readers out there for you guys to choose from. Right, so let's see what's going on for the next seven days for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sometimes this reading can get intuitive, and sometimes it will just be a regular read. Okay, uh, whatever spirit wants you to know, I will convey the message. Right, so let's see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for my Sagittarius for the next seven days, please, spirit. For the next seven days. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, let's get some uh, messages out for you guys. Spirit, what messages do we have, please, for Sagittarius? The Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Sagittarius? The Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Sagittarius? Is? Okay, got to me. Can I have one card only, please? Thank you. I'm hearing the word Lotus. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, we've got Autumn. Release the old and rest. Okay, so for some of you guys, it's about resting, rejuvenating, letting go, okay? Also, Autumn kind of reminds me about hibernating, right? So there is some kind of transition there. I want one more card. Like hibernating, I don't know, there's something about hibernating. Hmm. Okay, fire guardian, ignite your passion. <laughs> you are a fire sign, of course, Sagittarius, so this would be, uh, of course, a fire guardian. Ignite your passion almost kind of comes to me as um, the ace of wands to some extent. We're definitely focusing on your future though here, okay? So maybe something's going to be happening in autumn time for you guys. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> right, let's go in. Show me an order of preference, please, for it. What is it that we need to know? Show me an order of preference. I know you guys, there's still something that you're holding on to, okay? Or there is some kind of some kind of attachment still happening. This could be on a subconscious level as well, okay? It could be karmic. Maybe there's some kind of like needing to cut the cord. Doing a cord, cut, a cord cutting ritual. I don't know. <laughs> For some of you guys, it could be that though. I'm definitely feeling that. Okay, let's see what's going on. Current situation, two of pentacles. What's blocking it is the nine of cups. What's above you, temperance. Um, what is, sorry, <laughs> what is in recent past the king of pentacles? Eight of wands is what's keeping you going. Could be subconscious mind as well. Knight of wands is your near future. Two of Wands is how you feel within yourself. The Sun is the person you're dealing with. Could be a Leo. Emperor is your hopes and fears. Aries energy there. Eight of Pentacles is your overall outcome. Your overall energy for this is the Nine of Swords. I was going to say something about feeling stuck the minute I saw the Two of Wands card. Um, definitely feel like there is something there about feeling stuck. Um, okay, so let's see what's going on. All right, so... For your current energy, you have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this is something that's been ongoing. So it could be something that's from the past that's continuing into the current situation. There's a lot of back and forth, maybe some negotiation going on, okay? But I do feel this is more of um, an ongoing situation that's kind of never-ending. Almost feels like it's never-ending. It will end at some point, but it just feels like it's never-ending, okay? Do you know what? For some reason, I'm seeing this bit here as the sun it's either coming across to me as the sun or the moon with light beaming out on both sides. That's weird. Okay. Um, so there is something there, okay? Maybe something's going to happen on the full moon that you need to release, okay? Um, because it's kind of beaming out. That's how it's showing. See, that's how I'm seeing it as it's beaming out, okay? Um, but yeah. 
um, the two of pentacles definitely shows in the current situation that you're trying to get some balance, okay, whether this is a conversation you're having with someone, I really do feel like it is, but there is some kind of negotiation, maybe you're just trying to have, get some like kind of balance with this person or in a situation. I feel like something is a little bit tricky here for you guys right now, okay, Sad. There is something here that's a little bit tricky, okay. Nine of Cups, okay, but you're kind of, um, whatever it is that you're finding tricky or whatever it is that you cannot, like, whatever you're struggling on when it comes to the negotiation, I feel like there's some kind of blockage here when it comes to your wish fulfillment, when it comes to your balance, uh, when it comes to having... You could have all of these kind of, you know, wish fulfillments. You could have these nine of cups, everything, right? You could be emotionally satisfied. You could be happy. You could be like, I'll pick this. I can choose that. I can choose this. But there's something blocking it, right? Uh, there's some kind of dissatisfaction coming from this situation. Because of that being in the blocked position, it's kind of telling me that it's happening because of this kind of two of pentacles where you're kind of going like back and forth, back and forth, right? Um, oh, I'm being really drawn to that and I feel like I was supposed to do that one next, but that's not how I roll. So I am going to go into um, what's on top of man, the crowning position, right? You have some kind of karmic situation. I told you there was definitely a karmic situation coming through here, okay? I'm hearing nothing is as it seems, okay? So for a lot of you guys, you could be thinking that, or maybe the situation is like that, okay? Again, you need to have balance and some patience here. I feel like you're karmically being tested, okay? I know a lot of you guys are not going to like me saying that, um, but there is something here about the karmic test, okay? I'm going to clarify this, definitely. Um, but to me, this card always represents like a test happening right there for you guys. If there is a past, you could have been dealing with an earth sign, somebody who's really stable, or this could have just been you, right? Somebody who's financially stable, taking the right responsibilities, somebody who is very kind of grounded, somebody who's very mature, okay? Um, now, <laughs> here's the one that the card that's been grabbing my attention. So I definitely feel like there is some kind of movement and action taking place here in helping you move forward towards where you want to go, okay? So let me just work on this card a little bit because it's grabbing my attention. There's a lot of hidden wonders, okay, that you are not actually seeing or acknowledging, okay. So as you move along, I feel like you're going to start to become more aware of these hidden wonders. Um, little treasures in life. <laughs> You could easily miss though these kind of like little treasures um i feel as you you continue i feel like there is a message coming in not going out i feel like it's coming in or some some kind of like incoming i don't know there's something about incoming I'm not really getting anything else, but some of you guys, if you are receiving a message or you have already received a message or you're going to, please take it how it resonates. There is something here about some kind of incoming, whether a person is coming towards you, whether you are receiving a message from this person. I really don't feel like it's you. I feel like it's just coming from the outside, okay? That's how it feels to me, um, definitely. I feel like it's going to push you back a little bit because I am kind of seeing that, like, it's going to take you aback a bit, right, whatever this message is, okay? Wow, guys, you're going to have to excuse me. I've just had my lip pierced and it's killing. <laughs> right. Um, Knight of Wands. Okay. So in your near future, you definitely have this kind of energetic energy coming in, okay? Whether that is a person that you're dealing with or whether that is you, there is some kind of energetic energy kind of coming in here, okay? There's some kind of impatience as well, all right? Being the fire energy, okay, I know Sagittarius can be quite patient at times and, you know, they can be really, really sensitive as well. Um, 
all about healthy eating and everything but when they have their fun they can really have their fun so i feel like this is what this is saying there's something about getting out there and getting back to you know getting into that fun getting into the swing of things right definitely um so how you feel within yourself this is the card that was telling me that you feel stuck right now okay so maybe there is something here about wanting to kind of go overseas or take a holiday or a trip or maybe waiting for something and then boom this kind of like energy here is making you feel really stuck maybe you just feel like you can't do anything at the moment i don't know if you're in any of the red list countries um but there is something here about um waiting and feeling stuck I also feel like you're letting go of something and you're saying bye-bye to it because you're looking at things from a new perspective. You're looking at the world from a new perspective as well. I don't know why I'm getting that for some of you guys because I feel like there's there's a definitely a world, another world, another part of the world that you want to see or I feel like this is more of a subconscious way of saying it. Like, like you know the world is a very big place but there's a part of the world that you have not seen from like say something like where you've always seen it from the same perspective but now you've seen it from a different perspective right okay so let's see what else we got um so we got the sun for the person that you're dealing with they feel really happy they feel really chill they're enjoying themselves definitely i feel like they could be like you know being happy as well chilling out maybe this is how you see the world as well it could be i will clarify this because i feel like your energy is kind of getting out of this nine of swords and coming into this kind of like sun energy i really do feel like that is the case here but we will find out um we have the emperor so your hopes are to become more stable more grounded more secure some of you guys might be trying to open a business or becoming a manager or you know building an empire for yourself mm -hmm. This is coming into authority. I love that. Um, I'm seeing the eagle, okay, um, in both of these pictures. That's catching my attention. And the eagle kind of sometimes to me represents somebody who's really, really sharp, right? Somebody who's got a keen eye for details. Somebody who's really fast as well. Um, somebody who's not afraid. The eight of pentacles in the overall outcome is showing that there's a lot of work still left to be done. Um, and I feel like this is kind of saying that you're going to be putting your head down and getting on with all those things that needs to be done, okay? Right, so let's go ahead and clarify this reading and see what's going on for my Sagittarius's. Okay, so I want to clarify this two of pentacles. Not yet. Let's see what this two of pentacles is. Think spirits already ready. <laughs> Let's see what this is about. So you've got the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Fool. Oh, love it. Definitely love it. So I feel like there could be some messages going back and forth between you and this person. You may be kind of like feeling like this is the beginning of something new, could be. But you don't want to take, you don't, I feel like, you feel like, there's something here about not wanting to take the risk as well at the same time. I do see these cards as really positive, but I feel like this full card is talking about hesitating. Hesitating. But this is, um, this is a lot of love here. This is a lot of passion and this could potentially be bringing in a whole new beginning. The fact is that this could be a wish fulfillment for a lot of you guys um but it's in the block position so it's like you're sabotaging it in a way or maybe you're just unsure because you feel all right could be something to do with the past um on how you perceived relationships or how people treated you in your past relationships but we've got the chariot the judgment and the queen of cups i feel like there's a need to do a lot of self-love here and a lot of self-work um as above so below coming into balance right with your higher self and connecting with just your own self right basically like there's a subconscious and then there's a conscious you 
both need to integrate and i feel like that's kind of coming to that point of judgment where you need to kind of transition there's something karmic from the past that still needs to be dealt with it's not dealt with that's why it's in the blocked position your wish fulfillment is not far from you until you deal with that situation you might know what that is yourself uh for every sagittarius that would be different i see what this temperance is because i feel like there is some kind of karmic situation until that's not dealt with yeah there is like this block And I feel like it's temporary. This Nine of Swords is like temporary. It's not as bad as it seems. That's what the temperance is. Ooh. I feel like you could be testing the waters a bit. Going out there, having some fun. Getting together with family, you know, friends. And manifesting just a lot of abundance and happiness. There's a lot of confidence. So in your mind, you kind of have this idea of how you want to see yourself, right? I mean, that is your own energy. So yeah, hell, why not, you know? Um, so there is something here about manifesting something. You could be trying to manifest a reunion. I'm just saying, Sag, don't, don't shoot the messenger. Um, let's see the King of Pentacles. Talking about the King of Pentacles. Oh. So in the recent past, there was some kind of painful ending. Um, I feel like somebody said something kind of very straightforward, very blunt. Okay, they were being quite honest. Um, and I feel like they laid things to rest from there onwards. So it was kind of like, let's just put this to bed. Finished. Okay. That explains the blocked position. Let's see what this eight of wands is. It could have been, um, it could have been trying to heal the situation. Starting all over. And you maybe are a bit like, oh, well... I don't know. Maybe I'm not ready yet because I haven't haven't given myself enough time, you know? That kind of energy. But you're definitely made for this person, let me tell you that now, because I see a soulmate connection here. There's definitely the king and the queen of pentacles. I am seeing here the fact that there is some kind of communication coming in, but I feel like you're feeling a bit insecure. Um you definitely feel like this person is the one, but you may be feeling like there's something here that this person's hiding or not telling you the truth about still. That could just be kind of nagging at the back of your mind. So even if this person has told you the truth, you might still be having that kind of paranoia like, is this person like telling me the truth still or not? Talking about the Knight of Wands. I heard the tail end of things. I don't know if that resonates for any of you guys. Yeah, I feel like, look at that, I just feel like there's this kind of like player-like energy coming through here with the Knight of Wands, but I do feel like this is you being very confident enough to move forward. There could be some kind of impulsivity here, especially when it comes to the Nine of Swords. There could be some kind of anxiety here, stress here in regards to family and finance. You might still think that this person's a player. You might be thinking that you're being played like games, in other words, right? Like mind games even. I don't feel like there's a third party situation. I just feel like there is mind games being played here and that's what you feel like. But it could be you that's feeling like, you know, you could be feeling like this person's playing mind games or you could just, you know, be in your mind itself and it's kind of giving you a lot of stress. You may have a lot of responsibilities as well for a lot of you guys and getting that too. I'm getting, um, because I'm channeling, sorry guys, because I'm channeling, I'm getting a lot of messages coming through. So if this reading does sound a little bit kind of like here, 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 it might be because I'm picking up a multiple of Sagittarius' energies. There is a tower moment coming up for some of you guys, even though that card is not here, but I feel like there is a tower moment coming up for you guys, definitely. Um, so yeah. 
Let's see. What this two of ones is. The two of ones got me a bit. So we've got the three of ones, two of ones, and the seven of swords. Jeez. There is some kind of waiting, feeling stuck. Definitely feeling stuck. Um, just when you think, bam, you're about to get somewhere, it's like, no, you're taking one step back. Sorry for the click, but it's just kind of impulsive, like, reflex action. But, yeah, the Three of Swords, so it's like the minute you feel like you're going forward, the minute you feel like, yes, that boat's about to come in, boom, it's like you take a step back or something comes in the way. And I feel like if... I feel like this is self-sabotage in a way, you know that, I really do, because I feel like, yes, you are seeing the future for what it is, but then you keep turning back and looking at the past, and that's where this self-sabotage comes in from, like, you don't want to be doing that, you know, all right, let's see what this sun is, okay, oh, okay, Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. Jeez, okay, well, <laughs> I feel like this person feels very, very stuck when it comes to making moves towards you or even trying to communicate with you. I feel like they are in a space of happiness. They're really kind of focused on themselves right now and their wish fulfillment. They might be just like, you know, like I said, really enjoy themselves. Maybe have a lot of options as well um they are a little bit conflicted whether to hold back or actually communicate with you i do feel like there is some kind of communication coming in though however so there will be i mean you got the knight of swords at the bottom of the deck so there's definitely going to be some kind of communication or reconciliation coming in definitely but i think not without a towel moment if that makes any sense let's see what this emperor energy is Okay, so you've got the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Guys, if you don't realise, I do do synchronicities on this channel, and I've just saw 2222 for you guys, so you might want to check that out for angel guidance. Yeah, I feel like, see, look, this is you here, manifesting some kind of big opportunity, right, and taking a chance. And even though things are still hurting, your fear might be okay of having this separation, of having this disappointment, but at the same time, it could be to do with business, right? You could be manifesting that, so be really careful, but I do feel like this is about putting your boundaries up, staying resilient, standing your ground, because that's what the emperor is all about, right? Business first, take care of business first, the rest will take care of itself, is what I'm getting. All right, let's see what this eight of... Let's see what this eight of um, pentacles is for your outcome. I've kind of gone over my time here. I'm seeing a seahorse, so there could be some kind of some kind of long-term stable commitment or relationship coming in here. Some kind of loyal relationship, or maybe there is some kind of masculine energy that's taking, going to start taking responsibility, right? Yeah, I feel like you're really going to go introspective and focus on yourself, and then start something new here when it comes to work, when it comes to business. And you're going to integrate this. There could be some kind of travel here as well. So maybe you're working towards travel as well. There is something coming to a completion though. Let's see what this Nine of Swords is about. So like I said, take whatever resonates from this because it is a channeled message. If you're feeling right at the bottom right now, okay, when it comes to this Nine of Swords, just realise that the Wheel of Fortune goes round, and as planet cycles turn, you are going to kind of move towards the top of this um, of of this um, this cycle, right? Okay, so it's going to be like where you are right now, feeling really low. You are going to get your highs as well. That's what this Nine of Swords is. So we've got the six and we've got the 
six of wands you've got the strength and the six of swords. definitely a lot of travel coming in i do feel like there is going to be success you just need to have a lot of confidence and faith in yourself definitely and you are going to move into a calm situation i told you right i told you and you could be also moving towards a twin flame soulmate connection definitely right okay guys so that's all i have for you if any part of this reading resonated with you please do smash the like share and of course subscribe down below everything is always appreciated with you guys love you all and light to all of you bye bye